What's up guys? Welcome back to another fragrance review. Namiss ko yung mga gatong review so I'm very excited. And as you've seen in the title, today I'm gonna be reviewing the newest release of Tom Ford under Ombre Leather line. This is Tom Ford O The Ombre Leather. This was released recently lang, back in September. And O The Ombre Leather is in EDT or O The Toilet Concentration. Pero bago tayo pag-proceed to the review, let's talk about the packaging. The box is in grey with textured surface and on top of the box is their monogram. The bottle is translucent black with faux leather plaque. And personally, I'm a fan of the bottle. The overall bottle design of the ombre leather looks classy and luxurious. Top notes are cardamom, ginger, and coriander. Middle notes are vanilla tincture, glowing leather accord, and base notes is ambrofix. Now let's start that. So na try ko na to ng two full wears. And this opens up with fresh, spicy ginger and cardamom. And I get a really high quality ginger and cardamom notes in here. Both cardamom and ginger smells natural and high quality to me. Like for the cardamom, I do get the parang rawness of the cardamom. Kasi meron akong raw cardamom in here. These are cardamom seeds. One thing na napansin ko nung na-try ko to for the first time. Aroma Aromatic siya na may pagka spicy tama and for its raw form you can tell that this is spices. While perfumes like Lana with Dilom na gumagamit ng prominent cardamom eh, you can actually detect naman yung cardamom talaga but there's a certain parang rawness to the cardamom na, gina na ginamit dito. Although fleeting, same goes with the ginger. It's bright yet spicy and fizzy at the same time. And I was able to enjoy that opening for, for the first 10 to 15 seconds. Now after about 5 minutes, once na mawala na yung trace ng cardamom and ginger that offers fresh and spicy character to the scent, you will then start to get different notes like spices, ambery notes, powdery, gourmand, musky, animalic, and leathery notes. And in the official breakdown of the notes from Tom Ford, the leather in here is an accord which they call glowing leather accord. I'm not sure kung maybe sabihin nila doon, but maybe it's a type of leather that is brighter and lighter. But speaking of the leather, pag-usapan natin yan because at the end of the day, this is presented as a flanker of the ombre leather line, which is a straight-up leather fragrance. But the leather in this flanker isn't the same leather that they've used in the EDP and the perfume concentration. So if you're like me that it's expecting na this is gonna be parang a water down version of the ombre leather DNA. Let me tell you na hindi ganun yung nangyari dito. Actually, medyo lumayo sila. They drifted away from the DNA of ombre leather which for some people na babasa ko sa mga reviews, they don't like it. Medyo disappointed yung iba. Yung iba naman, nagustuhan naman nila. So kung yung original ombre leather DNA is straight up black leather, parang amoy, luxury leather bag, parang ganun. This one to me is more like suede leather type of leather wrapped around by amber and vanilla tincture. The amber or specifically the ambrofix which is an aroma chemical for amber is a lighter smelling amber Amber. Although meron pa rin siyang woody, leathery, obviously oriental spicy note. Also, if you get this parang kind of rubbery feels to it, that's the amber fix. For the vanilla tincture naman, I was able to try and sniff uh, the vanilla tincture sa isang perfumery class na inanulan ko. Medyo slightly different from the vanilla that we used to know. Na medyo parang, alam mo yun, gourmand, comforting, sweet, na naamoy pagkain talaga. Which is coming from an aroma chemical called vanillin. Usually, vanillin yung ginagamit sa mga vanilla fragrances but for this one it's vanilla tincture and vanilla tincture is still sweet but it has some hints of spiciness and woodiness as well now for those who doesn't have an idea dun sa vanilla tincture basically yung vanilla is isosoak mo lang siya sa alcohol for at least a month so let's say for example i have here pinutulputol ko na lang to eh this is vanilla pods so parang nasa mga 8 inches to eh. This is Tahitian vanilla. And basically, ibababad lang to sa alcohol. Tapos, yun, for a month at least or more. So basically, what you will get with Tom Ford O, the ombre leather, is a fresh and spicy opening transitioning into a sensual, leathery, ambery, delicious yet rich vanilla sweetness. What I can imagine is a guy in his early to mid-30s wearing a suede jacket with a suede leather Chelsea boots. So this is gonna be a nice casual performal wear for cool temperature places. Now let's talk about performance. I got about 5-6 to six hours longevity with soft to moderate projection. So personally, I wish it performs a little bit better because I really love the scent. But this is in EDT concentration and it's not as heavy nga as the original ombre leather so it's understandable for the price of comfort all the ombre leather i got this for 8950 for 50 ml on retail i'm sure they have 100 ml pero parang nung time na yon wala yata 100 ml do sa uh, pinagbilhan ko but you can check other Tom Ford boutiques. I'm sure they have 100 ml because if you ever happen to like this scent, I think this is 100 ml bottle worthy. Now for my final thoughts, personally I think this fragrance is lovely. It's love at first name for me. As in pagamoy na pagamoy ko pa lang sa mga nakafollow sa akin sa Instagram talaga nag story ako agad. And I'm totally fine and pleased to be honest on what they did here. Some may be disappointed because hindi nila sinunod yung ombre leather DNA. Personally gusto ko rin naman yun but what they did here isn't bad at all in my opinion. Personally I think it's beautiful on its own. I mean, if Tom Ford released this na hindi part ng ombre leather line, like for example, standalone fragrance siya, 
I think this will shine on its own in my opinion. Because sobrang sarap ng amoy. You won't smell like everybody else. It's rich, it's mysterious, and I think mga consider din siya as something that's unique for most people because I haven't smelled any fragrance that has this type of scent except YSL Baby Cat. Actually, I was reminded by Baby Cat uh, when I first smelled this store. That suede leather accord that is very similar to this scent. Although I tried to compare them side by side, yes, they have similarities, but meron din silang kanya-kanyang mga characters. So I think if ever you have YSL Baby Cat, it could be redundant for you to own OD Ombre Leather if I'm gonna be honest. Not that it's a clone, no? hindi naman sila clone, but they share some similarities for sure. But I think the advantage of OD Ombre Leather is that it's more accessible kahit sa ang Tom Ford ka magpunta, you can get this. I think price-wise, mas mura din siya compared to Baby Cat. Second thing is if you love vanilla and leather just like me, you'll probably love this one. I mean, it's really high quality. It's gonna be a great experience wearing this fragrance within the lifespan of the scent. So personally, I highly, highly recommend you guys try this one. So with that, I will give Tom Ford O the Ombre Leather 9 out of 10. Now, this could have been 10 out of 10 for me for sure because I just really love the scent. As in, the remaining one point hindi ko binigay sa kanya is just because of the performance. I mean, I understand it's old the toilet, but I just wish na nagpa-perform pa siya ng extra. Nonetheless, I really love this fragrance. As in, I haven't really loved the fragrance this much for quite some time. Sobrang na in love talaga ako sa scent na to, as in. Before you guys go, if you haven't tried my product, Masquerade Fragrance Enhancer, lagay ko yung link sa description below and also in the pinned comment section if you haven't tried it. Go check out Shopee and TikTok shop. Meron kami mga distributors and resellers sa, sa Shopee. You can check them out pero you can also check our official shop on TikTok shop. Follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page, Greg Parilla. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down your thoughts in the comment section. With that having said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!